uh, BBB, somebody says is Bed Bath and Beyond. I wish, I wish that that would be that would be much better if if uh, if uh, we were talking about uh, 1.7 trillion dollars for Bed Bath and Beyond. Bed Bath and Beyond would allocate 1.7 trillion dollars uh, uh, in the economy better than the Biden administration, or for that matter, any political administration could do. All right, you are probably talk about ridiculous. You probably heard that Mansion has basically killed. BBB, Build Back Better. He basically told the uh, Sunday shows uh, on TV that he will, he's backing away. He's not negotiating anymore. He was playing tough. He was negotiating. He told Biden that they could probably cut a deal. And Sunday he said, nah, there's no deal to be cut. I think, I think he basically realizes that West Virginia, the state which he is a senator for, does not support another $1.7 trillion of spending, particularly not of the kind of spending, because 1.7 is cheating. It's much, 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 much more than 1.7. Because what the bill is full of is, for example, child tax credits for one year. But we all know that those will be extended. But if they only say it's one year, they only quote, value it for one year. So only one year of it goes into the 1.7 trillion. But if you assume it's a perpetuity and it's there forever, well, it's much more than 1.7 trillion. And then add to that all the different benefits ex that expanded and new benefits that all in the bill have sunsets, not because anybody believes that they will sunset, but because in order to get the, the deal somewhat balanced, revenue and expenses, and not to make it be a gazillion dollars, just 1.7 trillion. 1.7 trillion these days is small, is, 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 is nothing. Um, they, they have these sunsets, but they know that once you establish a social program, in particular, once you establish a social program that benefits the middle class, it's there forever. Nobody is going to not extend a social program that the middle class benefits from. Just ain't happening. So uh, this bill is actually many trillions. And, and what, what Manchin is, I think what Manchin is basically upset at is they're not treating him nicely. I mean, he said today that, that people in the White House are just not nice to him. I, I mean, it's not that Manchin is some principled advocate for capitalism. It's not that Manchin really objects to the expansion and growth of, uh, of social programs. Uh, it really is the case that for Manchin, this is just a matter of, uh, he doesn't want to go to West Virginia and say he increased the deficit by 1.7 trillion. He doesn't want to have to go to um, uh, West Virginia and say he increased taxes. Uh, he's worried about elections as he should be, West Virginia is a very, very Republican place, and he runs as a Democrat. Uh, and he's, I think the easiest thing for Manchin would be to just convert to the Republican Party, and that would save him everything. He'd be, then he'd be elected as a Republican, and he'd win every time. And he could vote whatever he wants. I mean, Manchin is a nobody, a nothing, a zero. It's not that he has beliefs. But in this case... What the Biden administration with a 50-50 with Senate is trying to do is so outrageous, so ridiculous, so off the charts, so dishonest that somebody like Manchin, for purely political reason, is calling them on it. Now, I will guarantee you that there are probably a dozen Democrats, Democratic senators, that are sighing a sigh of relief because they don't want to vote for this bill. They can't not vote for it, probably. But they don't want to be in a position one way or the other, to vote or not to vote on it. They are loving the fact that Manchin is getting all the blame for walking away from it. And they don't have to engage in it. All these centrist, so-called centrist Democrats who don't want to have to face the constituency having voted for a loser bill like this bill that expands government, that expands government spending, that doesn't pay for it, that expands the deficit during inflation, expands government spending by giving people checks, the equivalence of giving people checks, 
that is just uh, uh, inflationary as well, in spite of what some economists claim, pseudo-economists claim. Oh, Seth, Seth says Manchin may be the least principled politician in the history of politics. Oh, no, 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 no. They are far more less principled politicians than Manchin. I mean, God, there's no end. There's no end. Manchin is just in this tricky position of being in a 50-50 Senate where he is the swing vote, where he has to get elected in West Virginia. I mean, Trump was less principled than Manchin. I promised to hold uh, uh, no punches on Trump, so he will be mentioned frequently in spite of the fact that you don't like it. Some of you don't like it, anyway. Um, some of you keep coming back. So um, I think what's going to happen here is that the Democrats are going to go back, uh, structure a new bill that will be negotiated on. Uh, some of the other centrist Democrats are going to have to intervene because they don't, won't, won't like it too much. Um, and, you know, they'll pass something next year, probably. The, it, next year is difficult because it's re-election, right? It's an election year. So a lot of these uh, centrist Democrats won't want to vote for it. It, it. There's a good possibility nothing gets passed before 2022. And there's a good chance that Democrats lose both the House and the Senate in 2022. Which is my hope. My hope, yes. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content. And of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.